Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. walking around Los Angeles right now in my old neighborhood of Venice Beach and one of the things that I forgot about is that the sidewalks are all busted up. The tree roots grow up underneath the sidewalks and buckle them and you got to be really careful and pay attention when you're walking around because they're not flat and they're not smooth and they rarely ever fix them. This makes me think about goal setting and planning. What we often try to do in life is create these straight, smooth, flat paths, like sidewalks, that lead us right towards our goals. But it's an illusion, you know? We say, ah, oh, this is what I want in a week, this is what I want in a month, this is what I want in a year, five years, ten years, and we create all these plans. We draw this sidewalk, this line, and it's all in our heads. It's make-believe, it's not reality. Because what happens is, the trees are going to buckle your sidewalks. Nature, reality, is going to buckle those lines. They're not going to be flat, but we expect them to be flat. We're not ready for the obstacles that show up. We're not ready for the topography underneath our feet. LA is not just a city of broken sidewalks, it's also a city of broken people. And I don't have a problem with either one. But what I do have a problem with is when the broken people aren't paying attention because they think the sidewalk is supposed to be perfectly flat. Their goal is supposed to be perfectly flat and smooth and nothing bad is supposed to happen on my journey. I'm only manifesting positivity. Well, guess what? You're not going to be paying attention because you're not going to be present. You're not going to be conscious because you're expecting a smooth path and you're going to go down. And often these people blame the sidewalk, or they blame the tree because its roots buckled the sidewalk. How dare that tree? And they end up cutting it down and killing it. Rather than being present, paying attention, taking responsibility for the fact that they're not in the moment. And even more importantly, learning from the obstacle. Every time you gotta step up on a lump of concrete, you have a chance to elevate your perspective. Get a different point of view. So this makes me think about trail running versus road running. In road running, or sidewalk running in most places, you don't have to pay attention to the surface that you're running on. But in a trail run, you've got to think about every step you take. Is it a rock? Is it a root? Am I going up? Am I going down? Am I moving left? Am I moving right? There's a lot of topographic variability. And this forces you to be present and in the moment. Hey puppies! <laughs> Three little pugs going nuts. So, trail running forces you to be present and in the moment because you got to think about every step. You can't zone out. You can't be unconscious. You can't just be on autopilot running on the trails because you will fall. But on most sidewalks and most roads, you can just tune out. And I'm not even conscious. I'm not even here. I'm not even present as I'm moving towards my goals. Yeah, I'm moving towards the goal, but it's a smooth path. So I don't need to pay attention. I don't need to check in with it. I don't need to look at where I'm going. But on a sidewalk like this with bumps, you better pay attention, you better look down, you better check it out, or you're going down. And all too often in life, people are moving towards the goals on autopilot, thinking that it's a flat path, but it's not. Because nature showed up, reality showed up, and it buckled your path. I was at a trail race recently, it was a marathon, and we had to run 26 loops on this trail. And there were rocks and roots and down trees that we had to go under, some that we had to go over. And one of the people there was complaining about it, like, this is ridiculous, I'm going to break an ankle, I'm not doing 26 loops on that crap. I'm going to go out there and run on the road. And they did a one mile loop on the road 26 times and said, I did the marathon. Yeah, you ran 26 miles, but you weren't part of this race. This race was about rocks, roots, and obstacles. And everybody in the race had to be present. We had to think. Now, if you tell me, I'm not gonna run on that because I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna hurt myself, what you're saying is that you're not gonna be present. I'm not, I don't wanna be present for 26 miles. I don't wanna have to think about this place, this moment, the start line for 26 miles. No, I wanna think about the finish line. I wanna think about being done. I wanna be off in some fantasy about this race being over, or about having accomplished something, or about having achieved a certain goal. I don't want to be present to the path. I don't want to be present to the journey. That's what a trail is, by the way, it's a path. 
no, I want to check out, I want to tune out, just get me to the goal. Some people are okay with the fact that it takes time to reach their goals. Yeah, I know it's going to take a year to get there, but I want to be unconscious for that year. I don't want to have to be present every moment. I don't want to have to enjoy the process. I don't want to have to learn from the process or adapt or evolve or realize that maybe I should go down a different path because this one isn't the one I really wanted. No, just tune out and just point me in that direction and, and wake me up when it's done. Like taking a long plane flight and drugging yourself out so you fall asleep or you can just tune. <laughs> Wake me up when I'm there. I'd rather be present to every moment of the journey. I'd rather be present to the path. I'd rather be in my life when I'm living it. Because the goal at the finish line, it's never what you think it's gonna be. I've got nine national championship titles now. So what? Same guy, nothing's changed. I don't think differently, I don't feel differently got the same life I had before. That's not true, actually. I've got a better life now because I've been present on the way to each of those accolades or awards. And that's how I got them, by being present, by checking in, by being in tune to the path and saying, ooh, look at that, and not seeing them as obstacles, but seeing them as the seeds of success. Every time you've got to jump over something or around something, you learn about danger, you learn about obstacle, you learn how to deal with challenges. But if you've got a flat, smooth surface that you set on, you're not learning anything. Yeah, maybe you'll get to a goal, but you're no better off for it because you didn't learn anything. Every bump in the sidewalk that shows up forces you to be present and teaches you a lesson if you're willing to learn it. You learn enough of those lessons, you jump over enough broken sidewalks, and you'll get where you want to go, and you'll be a lot better off when you get there. Those tree roots broke my ass. I didn't do it. The tree did. Damn tree.